The World Athletics Association has approved the world record set by Toby Amusan in the world's 100-meter hurdles semifinal at the Athletics Championship in Oregon in July of this year. What was the record set by Amusan? How did Toby Amusan prepare for the competition? Stay tuned to find out all the important unanswered questions we need answered about jubilation as World Athletics ratifies Toby Amusan's women's 100-mile world record. Let's get into it. First up, what was the record set by Amusan? Amusan's 12.12 second time from the semifinals, together with Swedish pole vaulter Mondo Dupalantes 6.21 meter mark has been ratified as the world record. The statement said the world record set by Tomu Yamasan, Mondo Dupalantes, and Sydney McLaughlin at the World Athletics Championships Oregon 2022 have been ratified. The site continued. Amasan's 12.12 in the women's 100 meter hurdle semifinals, Dupalantes's 6.21 meter in the men's pole vault final, and McLaughlin's 50.68 in the women's 400 meter hurdles finally are all now officially in the records books, as is the world U2O mark of 9.9 .9 set by Letzil Tobogo in the men's 100 meter heats. The information was made public on Tuesday in a statement posted on the organization's official website. Amosan had admitted in a post-record interview that the goal was to come out and win this gold. Honestly, I believe in my abilities, but I was not expecting a world record at this championship. At the London Muller Anniversary Games, Amosan beat former world record holder Kendra Harrison, who had established the 100 meter hurdles record with a timing of 12.20 in 2016. The 25 year old athlete wasn't done though. After that outstanding performance, she took first place in the final with a wind-assisted 12.06, 2.5 milliseconds. Next up, how did Toby Amasan prepare for the competition? Toby Amasan, who holds the world's record in women's 100-meter hurdles, claims she took out a $50,000 loan to help her with her training for the World Athletics Championships earlier this year. On Wednesday, in Lagos, Amasan engaged in conversation with the media. Her time of 12.12 seconds in the semi-final of the World Championship was confirmed as the new record on Tuesday by the World athletics. Amazon surged to a remarkable 12.06 seconds in the final, becoming the first Nigerian world champion, but it was not recognized due to a significant in-race tailwind that was greater than allowed. Amazon explained the circumstances that led to the historic event in Oregon by claiming that she was prone to injuries and needed the loan to be fit for the tournament. Yes, definitely. I've got injuries a couple times, she admitted. As a professional athlete, I had a lot to take care of in terms of health, and it cost a lot of money to stay competitive. Next off, who else set a world record at the athletic competition. Mondo Dubalantis and Sydney McLaughlin were also ratified at the World Athletics Championship in Oregon, along with Toby Amasan. The global U2O record of 9.94 was established by Letzli Tobogo in the men's 100 meter heats. Amasan's 12.12 in the women's 100 meters, 400 meters hurdles final are all now formally in the record books. The US 23 year old broke her previous world record with a time of 50.68, becoming the first of the senior records to fall at this year's World Athletics Championship. It marks McLaughlin's fourth career world record in the 400 meter hurdles after her 51.9 at the U.S. Olympic Trials in 2021, 51.46 at the Olympic Games in Tokyo, and 51.41 at the U.S. Championships this year. Additionally, 5.41 has now been approved. The world record has been lowered by nearly two seconds since 2019, less than three years before being lowered to 52.2, and subsequently 52.16 by American Dalila Muhammad. The record of 52. 34 lasted for 16 years. McLaughlin first cracked it on June 27, 2021. The time is absolutely amazing, and the sport is getting faster and faster, said McLaughlin, just figuring out what barriers can be broken. I only get faster from here. The level in the 400 meter hurdles is certainly improving. We have a full group of girls that are willing to push our bodies to the next level, and we are seeing times drop. Next off, where was Michael Johnson during all this? Despite the incredible accomplishment, Michael Johnson, a former 200 and now 400 meter world and Olympic record holder, questioned the accuracy of the clock and suggested some sort of foul play. I don't think 100 times is accurate, but 08, a world record was broken. 12 PBS were set. Five records were set nationally. Additionally, Cindy Sember said that her BPNR, I don't believe 100H are correct. The world record was broken by 0.08. 12 PBS set. Five national records were set. And Cindy Sember's quote after her PBNR, I thoroughly, I was running slow. All the athletes looked shocked. Heat 2, we were first shown a winning time of 12. A few seconds later, it shows 12.43. Rounding down by 0.01 is normal. 10 is not. As enraged Twitter users expressed their disapproval of the icon's attitude, Johnson was accused of using racial language in his comments. Another outraged user posted, Toby Abasan is the world record holder, and there's nothing you can do about that. The 55-year-old afterwards defended his earlier tweets. As a commenter, my job is to comment. In questioning the times of 28 athletes, not one athlete, by wondering if the timing system malfunctioned, 
I was harassed, accused of racism, and accused of doubting the skills of an athlete I admired and thought would win. Next up, is Toby Amosan an undefeated champion? Amosan has recently been in the best shape of her life. She broke the African record three times in the space of 10 months, before setting a new record in Oregon. She's also the first Nigerian woman to win the Global Athletics Championship and set a new world record. For Team Nigeria, she won another gold medal that broke records, this time at the Birmingham Commonwealth Games. Amosan entered the final as the clear favorite to win the gold medal, and, and there was no stopping her, as she sped to a new world record of 12.3 seconds to defend the 100-meter hurdles title she had won on Australia's Gold Coast four years prior. The UTEP alumni reaffirmed her position as the world's greatest female hurdler on September 8th in Zurich by breaking Gail Devers' 22-year-old record of 12.39 and setting a new meeting record of 12.29. She received the Officer of Order over the Niger, OON, award on Thursday, September 15th, when President Muhammadu Baharu honored the nation's athletes for their outstanding performances in several moments. When Almasan won the gold medal in the 100-meter hurdles event at the 2022 Global Athletics Championship, she became the first Nigerian to win a world championship in an athletic event. She holds the record in all three championships and is now the African Commonwealth and world champion in the 100-meter hurdles. Next off, how did Toby address her win? Almasan commented about how she had achieved all her goals for this race after the final in a joyful tone. The objective, according to her, was to complete and take home the gold. Honestly, I believe in my abilities, but I was not expecting a world record at these championships. You know the goal is always just to execute well and get the win, so the world record is a bonus. Adding, I knew I had it in me, but I could not believe it when I saw it on the screen after the semis. But it was just a matter of time, and I'm thankful. Before the final, I just tried to stay calm and do my best. I took a deep breath, knowing that I had some goals to accomplish, and it worked pretty good. I knew it was very fast, but not this fast. Next up, what motivates Toby Amasan to compete? After the world record, it is only fair we learn about her running history, and what motivated her to work. After the world record, it is only fair we learn about her running history and what motivated her to work. Toby Amasan, a world champion in the 100 meter hurdles, has never questioned her speed, but after Tokyo 2020 in 2021, she thought about giving up athletics because she had yet again fallen short of winning a medal. We put in the work, yet after competing in three world championships and two Olympics, we consistently place fourth or advance to the semifinals, the athlete claimed. So what if I finish in fourth place once more? Every championship year, I felt traumatized. After coming in fourth in Tokyo and missing the podium at the 2019 world championship, she found it difficult to get over the psychological effects of six years of pushing herself and having faith in her abilities. After overcoming a string of injuries and in form, Toby displayed moments of brilliance early in the 2022 season. She pushed the winner, Kamicho Quinn, to the finish line in Stockholm a few days after winning the Diamond League race in Paris. In a time that set an African record of 12.41, her Jamaican coach, with whom she had collaborated since she entered the University of Texas at El Paso in 2016, thought she could shock the system by turning in a career best performance in Oregon. Toby explained about her coach, we have this mother-daughter kind of bond. She would always let me know, you got it, you are the best out there. It was a fresh start and a new gold for Toby Amasan. She is going in strong and entering her career full of surprises and along with her teammates and competitors, we are sure she will succeed. Which Toby Amasan race was her favorite? Which Toby Amasan race was your favorite? Do you think she deserves the gold? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.